Hi there, my name is Vince from Mr Telephone and today I'm going to be talking about economizers. Uh, these things here. A lot of people don't know about these, they don't know they exist or they're not sure how they work. So hopefully after this video you'll a bit, be a bit more clear. Basically what an economizer does is it allows you to shove two signals down the one cable. So that could be a, a data data, data voice or a voice voice. And you can buy different economizers for each job. The ones with just a normal grey boots on these will be data data. So for example, if you had just the, the one cable and you wanted to uh, shove an ethernet, cable, uh, an ethernet signal down it for your PC and maybe an ethernet signal down it for your Xbox and you didn't want to run a new cable, then you could do that using these ones here. Okay? You can also, the ones with the green boots, these are data voice. So it allows you to shove uh, an ethernet signal down one of the ports and then a voice for your telephone down the other port and you can get a, a voice voice. That's the ones with the red boots. So this allows you to shove two telephone lines down the one ethernet cable. Now this will work with 10 base and 100 base, so fast ethernet. Uh, if you've got uh, a, a fast ethernet network then it will work because that only uses four wires out of the eight wires so it just uses basically two pairs out of the four pairs available if you've got a gigabit network unfortunately this uses all four pairs so you can't shove two signals down the one cable but in the, in the UK at the moment the service providers and stuff they're still just providing routers that are just working on fast ethernet so that means out of all the the wires in your ethernet cable it's only the orange and green that are being used the blue and the brown are spare and by using these economizers it allows you to use the blue and brown wires you can physically open up the cable and remove the pairs yourself but then that ruins the integrity of the network and it's a, just, it's a bit of a messy job. So uh, these, are, these are nice and neat. So you're going to have to use your imagination now. I'm going to show you uh, different things that you may have in your setup. You may have a setup like this. You might have wall sockets on one end and you might have RJ45 plugs on the other end that plug straight into your router. If you're in a, an office, you might have a patch panel in your comms room and again, this cable would be wired into the patch panel and then you're going to have wall sockets in all, the, uh, in all the other rooms in the office. You might have just an Ethernet cable with RJ45s on both ends. Now, if your line, if it terminates in sockets, then you won't need to buy anything additional other than the, uh, the economizers themselves. But in this instance here, I'm going to show you sort of uh, both both world scenarios. So by using this, we have a socket this end and a plug this end. So if it goes from a socket to patch panel, then you're not going to need to use these little couplers. But if you've just got a patch lead that has a, a plug on both ends, or in this instance, if you have a socket and a plug, then you're going to have to get yourself these little couplers as well. So uh, in this instance, I'm just going to use this up. This has just been wired up in a normal, normal way. I wired this up, I think, in one of my other videos. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove this little RJ45 coupler onto the plug and that provides me with a socket this end and a socket this end. Okay. So to begin with I'm going to use a data data and I'm just going to plug in my tester just to show you the pins that it uses and then hopefully you'll understand what's going on. So for example now You've got this at your, your router end, and you've got this by your computer end, and then your son or daughter decide they want to get an Xbox, and you want to connect up your Xbox as well. So what you need to do is plug in one of the economizers at the router end, and the other economizer into the PC end. Now, we've now turned this cable into a cable that will allow two signals to go down it. So then you would just get your Ethernet cables and you would plug them into this end and you get your Ethernet cables and you plug them into this end. Both of these would plug into the spare ports on your router or your switch, whatever you've got. And on this side, one would go to your PC and one would go to your Xbox. And it doesn't half the speed or anything. If you've got a gigabit, a gigabit network, then this is not going to work. But if you've just got a normal fast Ethernet, then uh, that's 10 base to 100 base, then it's not going to make a blind bit of difference because the blues and browns are not being used. And just by using this, you're now using the blues and browns. So it's a nice, easy, neat way of providing, it just saves you running the cable. So for example, if you've just got the one cable running down to your, your garden office or your garden shed or whatever you've converted into if you work from home, then rather than having to run another cable, you can just use these and... Uh, it, it, it then you've, you, you have another, it's exactly the same as running two cables. So let me just plug in my 
little tester here just to show you the difference between uh, the pins. So they have got little diagrams on here, but I'll show you with the tester and it'd be easier, you'll be able to, it'd be easier than trying to work out that wiring diagram there. It'd be easier to, uh, to, to see the pins. So plug that into the left hand side and into the left hand side. Now we know that the Ethernet signal runs down pins what, uh, one, two, three, and six. Okay, so if I go across here, hopefully, hopefully you'll be able to see. It'll be one, two, three, and six. Let me slow that down a bit. One, two, three, and six. Is six coming up there? One, two, three, six. Okay, so that's that side. And again, if we were to go onto the other port now, so unplug that there and plug it into the other port, and again, the same on the other side. Because this is a data data economizer, we should get exactly the same. One, two, three, and six. Okay, so basically, that's two standard Ethernet signals going down there. Now, let's say if you want it to run. Instead of running two Ethernet signals, you wanted to have an Ethernet signal and a voice signal. You would have to use these green adapters here because these are data and voice. So again, the same thing. You plug them into this side and this side. And now what would happen here is, just like normal, you would have your Ethernet go into the Ethernet side. But then on your voice side, if you were in the UK, you would have to use one of these. So this would be a, uh, actually just make sure which is the voice side, this side here. So on this one here, it's the, uh, if you've got the diagram facing you, it's the one on the, uh, on this side of the plug. Okay, that's the voice one here, this is the ethernet one. So you would have your BT plug plugged into your wall socket on a cable that then converts it to RJ45. In other countries, you're already, already going to be using RJ11, so that will plug straight into the RJ45, no problem at all. But in the UK, it's all uh, it's all BT plugs, so you're going to be converting, unless you're in an office and it's already been converted to RJ45. So you're plugging your voice side in this side, okay? And then on this side of the adapter, the wall socket side, you're going to be plugging in your adapter to turn it back to voice again. Again, if you were in America, for example, or Ireland, then you would just be uh, plugging your RJ11 straight into there. But now we've converted that side there into voice, yeah? And this side would be your normal, your normal Ethernet, okay? And just to show you it on the, on the tester. So we're plugging in the Ethernet side to begin with. The Ethernet side to begin with is this side. Okay, so if we put that on, again we should have one, two, three and six. One, two, three and six, yeah. And now when we go to plug the voice side in, it's the other port there and there, and turn it on, we will have three, four, five and six. Three, four, five and six, because uh, the voice will normally run down the blue pair and that will be four and five. But obviously on this it's converting it to run down the, uh, the blues and the browns, okay? Yeah, so three, four, five and six. So that's the, uh, that's the data voice. And lastly, I'm just going to show you the voice voice adapter. That's the ones with the red one. So that's if you want to shove two phone lines down the one cable. Plug that in there. Plug that in here. Again, if you're in the UK, you would have to have two of these this side to convert it to the BT connections, and you would have to have two BT to RJ45 leads to go from one telephone socket into the uh, connector, and then another telephone socket into the other connector, and then that will allow you to run two telephone lines down the one cable. But just for the purpose of showing you the pins, if we plug that into there and plug it into here, we should find it coming up on there, uh, three, four, five, and six on both of them. So if I turn that on, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six, and again put it into the other port. Three, four, 
three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay, so it's just allowing you, you know, looking at that, it, look, it looks like it's using the same pins because what's happening is it is using the same pins, then it goes onto different wires and then it comes back onto the same pins again. So you've got two signals going down the one cable using the spare wires and the normal wires and then splitting out again using the normal wires on both sides. So uh, it's just a, it's a handy little thing. Now, a lot of people buy the, a, a lot of times you see these sold singly, so you'll often see these for sale. I, I sell them in pairs. So I think I charge about 10 or 11 pound for a pair because you have to use them in pairs. A lot of people sell them singly and they sell loads of them, but it's, it's wrong because people are buying them and what they think they can do is they think they can just plug their router in as normal, you know, or, or whatever, plug it into the, you know, plug it into the router or into the patch panel and then uh, they just plug this into the wall socket and they think that they're magically going to get two Ethernet signals coming out of here and it doesn't work like that at all. The only way you can turn one Ethernet signal into two Ethernet signals, or three or four, is to get a switch. All this does is it just uses the spare wire, so it just saves you cutting into the cable and moving the wires around the place. It's just a nice, neat, easy way to do this, and you're not going to muck up your network, because if you start mucking up with your, uh, moving the wires in your network, then if you were to leave or someone else was to move in or a different IT guy was to come in, then they're not going to know what the person before has done and they might be trying to shove an Ethernet signal down it and they realise that uh, you know, the pairs are not there or they might be trying to shove voice down it and the blue pair has been used for an Ethernet signal somewhere else. So when you do it here, the network can stay exactly where it is and then you can just, uh, you know, just plug in these and when you don't need them, you unplug them, so it's a really simple thing to do. But by plugging that in, you're not going to end up with two Ethernet signals. You have to do the same on the other side as well. And uh, yeah, so that's it. So hopefully this has cleared it up a bit. It can be a little bit confusing, but it's uh, it is quite simple if you actually if you actually think about it, because all it's doing is utilising the spare pairs in that cable that are not used. So uh, yeah, just to recap, that's data data. Green is data voice and the red is voice voice and if you have a look in my ebay shop uh, mrtelephone.co.uk then you will find all these for sale and uh, yeah hopefully this video will be of use to you if you liked it please put your thumbs up and please subscribe for more videos have a look back at my previous videos if you're into telephones and networking hopefully you will find them handy i've got a good 30 plus videos talking about all the different things related to telephones and networking okay now with this stuff here i've explained it in a uk way by using adapters like this but it's the same principle for the rest of the world you just have to get your own converters but it's the, these things you can use worldwide okay hope you enjoy thanks very much take care bye now